Most frequent ski injuries occur around the lower limb area, and these can include leg tears, sprains, ruptures, and fractures, as well as similar knee injuries. The most common injury is tearing the ACL, or the interior cruciate ligament, or the MCL, which is the medial collateral ligament. And this often occurred when uh, doing pizza skiing down the hill. And to people who aren't familiar with pizza skiing, it's when the ski tips are pointed towards each other and make a triangle or pizza wedge shape instead of skiing in a parallel shape or like french fries. Besides injuries with M ACL or MCL, knee tears and sprains and other lower body injuries occur when turning, stopping or falling due to leg fatigue and soreness. Moreover, head concussions do occur too. Surprising, right? Like football, volleyball, and other common sports, the head concussions may result from falling or crashing into people or just tree hugging, you know, just crashing in the trees. Such injuries often occur among beginner or intermediate skiers since they are more likely to ski with pizza wedges because they think that by skiing with pizza wedges, they'll have more control over their body, which is not often the case. One example is one of my best friends had the MCL tear during her first ski trip in her life. And the worst part was it was her first run ever on a trail. And she was so discouraged, but after three years of struggling, she overcame her fear and got right back on the snow. And I was so proud of her. And yeah. But finally, upper body injuries. Although they're not as common, arm fractures and strains can also occur when someone stretches out their arms to break a fall. And in the videos that follow, I'll talk about tips on how to prevent these awful injuries. As, but uh, for now, as long as you follow the safety ski codes and rules, your chances, again, your chances of getting injury will be low. So let's ski smart.